Hey folks, thanks for tuning in to another Star Wars Black Series figure review. We've got Cobb Vanth and Cad Bane this time from Star Wars The Book of Boba Fett. Really, really looking forward to this pack coming out. Um, yeah, definitely one of the better two packs we've had. Um, and yeah, nice, nice early chance to get Cad Bane before his uh, single release later in the year. As to whether Cobb Vanth will come out this way um, singularly as he yet to be seen, I... I would, I would hesitate to say that he will, um, given that we've had his armoured version um, come out in Black Series singularly already. So it's really cool to have him in this sort of, you know, classic Western Western desert shootout. Um, and to see Cad Bane come to life in live action was was so cool. It's a great picture there of Cobb Vanth, played by Timothy Oliphant. And uh, Cad Bane there, voiced by the ever-awesome Corey Burton. And you have the sort of similar picture on the back. And, uh, yeah, I must say, the, the figures look better than the, the packaging um, suggests on the box, which is which is always nice. Uh, same thing happened with the Luke Skywalker Grogu 2-pack that I uh, recently reviewed. So it says it does say there, The Marshal of Mosque Pelgo on Tatooine, Cobb Vanth is a trustworthy leader. Bounty hunter Cad Bane visits him on behalf of the Pite Syndicate, leading to a fateful confrontation. And we all know that Cobb Vance survived that. So we have a picture of the two figures on the side. Um, so Cad Bane being six inches, as well as Cobb Vance being six inches, 15.2 centimeters tall each. A couple of extra accessories there for Cad, which is fantastic. And uh, yeah. So let's just get into it. We'll start with Cobb. Um, and I'm just going to slide Cad over to the side. So we'll get a good look at Mr. Vanth here, if we can shed a little light. There we go. I think it's a pretty good likeness, actually. You know, it's, it's a case of certain lights. Um, Certain lights he look, does look better than others, but you know, just I'm just excited to have this version of Cobb Vanth um, sort of out of his armor after he'd uh, given it up to the Mandalorian after they uh, took out the crate dragon. But yeah, he's still he's still the uh, the Marshal of Mos Pelgo, and uh, yeah, certainly shows his skills as a as a gunslinger extraordinaire uh, when he takes out the Pikes, which was a nice little like sort of precursor to, to his shootout with, with Cad Bane. Um, and you just sort of, you know, it's, it's one thing to see him in action uh, doing, you know, super awesome shootouts with the Pikes. And then Cad Bane uh, had just how much better he is as a marksman. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really happy with this figure. The uh, sort of the neck poncho there, the neck scarf. I'll probably end up, just sort of gluing that down, uh, just so it doesn't sort of flop around and stuff. Was, uh, yeah, it doesn't really need to move for me. Um, but yeah, very much a, a Western trait, the, uh, the bandana. You know, I do like the uh, the Star Wars sort of classic, the low-lying, the low-hanging belt and holster, ready for the draw. So yeah, the, the detail in the sculpt on, on the on the shirt is fantastic. Same with the pants, just nice sculpting. Not a great deal of weathering. There is a little bit of like sandy business going on there with the boots. But you know, that makes sense. <laughs> but yeah, I, I really hope we're going to see more Cobb Vanth. I think we will. It's a matter of when and where. He was left in... Boba Fett's um, yes <laughs> the back to tank that's the word he was left in the back tank we have his blaster pistol which looks nice yeah just a just a totally cool gunslinger would have been cool to see like a, an alternate sort of you know, if you get another red rag that you could uh, tie up around his mouth as if he's sort of walking through the desert. I think that would be cool, sort of protecting himself from the from the harsh winds and the sand. 
But there is there is Mr. Cobb Vanth. He's definitely become a favourite. Uh, I think we're all sort of just begging him to be released in the vintage collection as well. I think that would be just a outstanding figure, you know, even as as a deluxe, you know, in either Cobb like he is here, or in his full armoured up version. You know, put put one put one and two out there. Who cares? Just do it, Hasbro. <laughs> just do it. Um, so yeah, let's let's go and take a look at Cad Bane. So we'll just stand him back there. Fine, don't stand. That's fine. So here we have him. Going to adjust some lights. We'll take his hat off and have a good look at his face afterwards. But yeah, really, really nice interpretation of Mr. Cad Bane here. I'm just going to lighten it up a little bit. Beautiful sculpt all throughout. He is very much not using any parts from the original Cad Bane. Um, maybe the torso. Maybe, but I don't think so. I don't have the other one on hand at the minute um, to be able to confirm. But um, yeah, he's a cool looking cat. Now he's got that sort of trademark snarl there. Let me just take his hat off. Um, the single single box version that's going to come out later in the year is just going to have his mouth closed. So just just another cool look for Cad, and I think I'll definitely be getting that one as well. But yeah, he does come with his hat here, which is just so cool. You know, it's not as big or broad as his other one. Note that he is still sporting that shield from the uh, the sort of metal plate on his head from his not yet fully canonized shootout with Boba Fett when Boba was was a younger man at the end of the Clone Wars. Well, no, that was meant to be part of the story of the Clone Wars, but uh, it's uh, one part that never sort of come to fruition. But we've, uh, you know, I think that it sort of all but confirms that sort of shootout um, because the uh, Bad Batch version of Cad Bane did have that as well. It does come with two of his blaster pistols. Which again, similar to his Clone Wars ones, but slightly different again. They do fit nicely in the holster because I do have the other one in the other holster. So I'm just going to leave that one there. I think what Hasbro's done here is they've found a sort of a nice blue. I know a lot of people were sort of upset that he, the colour of his skin wasn't as sort of rich blue as it was in the animated series. But, uh, yeah, my sort of argument there is he's sort of getting a lot of reflection off the sand. Um, you know, this is probably just lighting up his face probably a little bit more than normal. Um, you know, it may have been practical that it was that it was brighter. It may have been a practical effect to go, go for a sort of a little bit more of a quote unquote natural blue <laughs> that probably but yeah my sort of head can is it's just like yeah but he's just it's just a bit of bright and light from the from the uh, sunshine but yeah he's still you know fantastic now the other two accessories he comes with he does come with this flame piece um, which I don't believe will be coming out with the single one but each side of his gauntlet does have a little peg there you can slot that in either side. Have him you know, going full effect with the uh, with the flamethrower there, which is just awesome. So you're definitely hanging for the uh, Book of Boba Fett version of Boba, so you can really have that shootout with them at the end. And also it comes with two of these little blaster effects, which you just sort of peg onto the end of the blaster. And I'm sure that'll fit on multiple blasters throughout your collection. But yeah, really nice effect. Definitely for one for the toy photographers, that one. But also just a cool display piece as well. So that is damn, damn cool. Yeah, just sort of checking out all the accessories and all the details. 
there's the holsters sort of strapped to the leg there I do like the sort of the look of the duster coat sort of blowing up behind you can always have him you know have him sort of semi holstered getting ready to draw that's a cool look too Got his sort of assisted apparatus here, which I think it was for his sort of oxygen assistance um, for his flight suit, which was still flashing. As a matter of fact, at the end, it was his life support was still still beeping after Boba Fett put a, put a spike to him. But um, we'll see Cad Bane again. I'm sure of it. He's way too good of a way too good of a character to bring into live action and then let go so quick. So you will be seeing him again, without a doubt in the world. So there we have him, Cobb Vanth, Cad Bane. A couple of awesome gunslingers, you know, arguably, you know, probably, well, not arguably, they are the definitive sort of Western Star Wars shootout. <laughs> that we've seen um i think it's really i think they're just fantastic really nice pack of two figures and yeah really looking forward to the single release of cad later just to sort of see how he's slightly different and uh yeah that's that's just about all for this review i hope you've enjoyed taking a look at these um uh you know i couldn't put cad down the other day when i picked him up um, but it's nice to finally sit down and, and, and get these two reviewed and up on the channel. So I do have a couple more videos that I did record the other day as well. Um, but I'm unable to get them off the camera, which is a bit of a pain. So hopefully tomorrow or the coming days, I'll be able to get them uploaded as well. So stay tuned for them. Um, yeah, thanks very much for watching. Till next time, may the force be with you always.